don't seem like we recording. Hold on, gotta get right. Let me see you right quick. You know what I'm saying? You know how so many of the skin in the view? Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me make sure everything calm and collected and cordial. Right, everything seems to be right. But look, check it out. I'm gonna react to. Holly Bailey fans upset. DDG defends Holly. Dania done with the and Royalty responds to CJ. So cool. So and look, the voice for the post and it's at a hundred and some one eighty nine now. You know what I mean? Yeah, we finna check it out. And all this little lagging shit that my computer doing, I don't know what the fuck this motherfucker got going on, but this motherfucker need to act right. DDG was beyond pissed last night at the journalist Elijah posted a picture of Holly Bailey with the caption that says, When exactly did Hollywood. Hey, bro, what the fuck you mean, ugly people? This girl is not fucking ugly. You ugly bitch. Wrong with you? Again, come on, some. When did? When exactly did Hollywood become flooded? With you? Bitch, you're ugly. Look at yourself in the mirror. Mark Zuckerberg looking at his neck. Become flooded with ugly people. Wish this post was seen by over three million people. DDG respond. Give it up, bro. It's over. Dude, making pennies on YouTube. Poor ass dude. This way. Dude, don't get no box. You're a weirdo and a rat. Shit's crazy. Somebody photoshop this dude. I'm on. Damn. Like I said, you, your mama, and your daddy ugly. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming for her, bro. You niggas got a whole happy life together. You niggas got a baby and shit. And you gonna call her ugly, bitch? What the fuck is wrong with y'all people? Y'all niggas need help. For real. And if you think Holly ugly, then what the fuck look good to you, my nigga? The fuck? You probably one of them niggas that like that like to look at Britney Spears right now. That pancake ass booty that shit. Like, no funny shit. Oh my boy. Now, Elijah did try to come back and justify it. He said, the best part about this post triggering the young scholar community is that I didn't even mention her skin color. I was referring to the distance between her eyes, but... What the fuck do the distance between her eyes got something to do with being a like, bitch? Your eyes can look like a motherfucking toad or a motherfucking bullfrog don't mean... Wrong with you, boy? Pelican face a... They can't help but make everything about race. Professional victims, plus like ugly, lol. They missed that. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what you think when it comes to that. Now let's talk about CJ So Cool and Royalty because CJ So Cool went live at the court the other day because allegedly Royalty and her mom was yelling at him outside the courtroom. According to Royalty, she said that CJ was lying in court and he kept bringing up her guy friend Rico. Now, if you don't know, Rico did get pulled over, locked up, in charge, which I'm guessing CJ mentioned that. In I ain't gonna lie. I'm 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 already tired of seeing this whole situation shit. This shit been going on since 2013, my nigga. 2013. I'm at damn. I'm at fucking 2023, my nigga. Like 2023. It's crazy. We all know what happened. Rico went to jail. Uh, fucking CJ trying to get motherfucking custody of the twins. Boom, bow, ping, pound, uh, motherfucking, they over there doing the motherfucking visitation shit. Then it's a, all of a sudden, royalty and her mama screaming and shit, you know what I'm saying? But it's probably for a reason. And you know what I'm saying? They said that CJ went just to get a visit for his twins, you know what I'm saying? In court, but here's what 
main concern of my case right now. You are the main topic. In all reality, guys, the only reason why CJ took me to court was just to see his twins, like, you know, to have visitation rights. He got Black do not crack, Margaret. Black do not crack. I'm trying to be. We're still in the same position that we were one year ago. The has changed. It's just like I said, he's just using the system to be in my business. Supporters are speculating that Jania and her PA boy Javante Murray have broken up after they um, Nini posted her IG. All I got in my life is my kids. And she tweet, worst day of my effing life. This young lady is going viral after she gave her one-year-old daughter a quick weave. People on the internet is beyond upset and threatened to report her to child services. Here's what she why the fuck is y'all reporting her to child service? Her daughter is three, my nigga. Worry about your own fucking kids, bro. She want to get her daughter some weave in her head for her birthday that it seemed like me or something special. She can do that. That's her fucking daughter, my nigga. Like, why is y'all so up other people's asses that y'all got to Comment these negative shit and these people co posting shit like, bro, shut your mouth and just worry about your own business. Bro, y'all not even, y'all not even wealthy enough to talk about somebody else. And y'all want to talk about somebody else, talking about reporting them to CBS. Report your own self to CBS, bitch. Fuck. Yeah, I had to say. All right, I know some of y'all do not like my last video of my baby getting her quickly. But at the end of the day, it's my child. So y'all want to say, oh, I'm going to call CPS or, oh, you should never do that to your child. I don't care how y'all feel. I'm going to do what I want regardless. And if it's not harming her, I was careful with the blowjob, careful with the glue. She was sitting there patiently calm. Anytime she got aggravated and frustrated, I gave her a snack or a break. And it's her birthday, like... Instead of all these negative comments, say happy birthday to my girl because my girl's one. Y'all see? Look, look at her. Tell her I'm one years old. Period, poo. This young lady posted a video of herself upset at the the elderly woman asked her man to help her put cases of water in the car. The girlfriend feels perfect. Oh, God. Why the fuck are you mad because an elderly lady asked her husband to put water in her car? You have no reason to be mad. It's called being a gentleman, my guy. Like, bro, man, look how you look. Like, you're not even all that good. Like, you're not even cute. Like, the hell? Lovely woman asked her male her to put cases of water in the car. The girlfriend feels like the lady shouldn't purchase that she can't carry herself. I think it's And you shouldn't talk about other people when you look like that. And you come out of the house. Nose big as hell. Lip all lopsided. Glasses about deformed as hell. Eyelashes fucked up. Baby hairs and shit fucked up. You can't even be your ass right. The fuck? Don't go shopping for all the waters if you know you can't lift them. Because when my man ain't there, baby, I don't get water at the store. And Bit. Just cause your ass can't carry water. Bitch. The fuck? That is. Respect your fucking elders, bitch. And if I do, I leave it in the car and I let him take him up. That is called you being lazy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Cause everybody knows good damn well your ass. Is strong enough to pick up a fucking case of water. Big linebacker, diesel back ass. You look like you drink diesel gas. Upset. Now you get over here. Get you yeah, He coming over here laughing because he know. What, what, did I say? what 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 did I say? Now she all smiley smiley because her man right there. Man, that man can help anybody he wants to. Stop being in. Stop being up your ass so much. <laughs> exactly, cause don't play. Yo, the little lady must have heard me. She said, "Thank you so much for letting him come over here." 
Get your big headed ass out the screen. I don't want to see that big ass five head. It happened again. <laughs> A lot of people in the comments are calling her insecure and childish for making a big deal over her man helping an elderly lady. Here's her response. Y'all, they is eating me up in the comments about my man and then... Yes, they are, because you're gullible, dumb, and retarded, all of them. To put the cherry on top, NBA young boy, mama, mama gonna call me and say, she'll take my man. Shalandra, Sh Sharonda, lady, baby, please, I got a mama too. <laughs> And then neighborhood talk, y'all messy too because ain't y'all supposed to ask me to post my video? At least the shade room got class. They DM you and ask you can they video. Y'all just get this shit with no type of context. Don't even tag me to defend myself, baby. Come on, dragon. Don't nobody even know who the fuck it is. People sending me the video talking about they fighting for their life in the comments trying to defend me. I ain't even know the video was posted. And then you think you doing something with 1,000 likes, bitch. Shit. That is not shit. I hate that for me. Baby, I jumped out of bed, hair scratched out, same ponytail from yesterday. Because ain't no way y'all thought y'all was going to eat it down like that. And I wasn't going to say none. Like I said, don't get my man because he didn't put him in that car. Now, who going to get him out your car? Because, baby, my man ain't going to be there. Like I Her grandkids. Is gonna get him out the car when she get there, or whoever she stay with, bitch. God damn, I hate motherfucking self entitled ass bitches like these. I swear, bro. But I was getting really shit, bro. She, my, my wife or girlfriend or shorty, better not act like this, bro. Or you gotta go. I'm gonna leave your ass on the side of the road. You can't come out of my crib. Said, don't let it happen again. <laughs> what is world too serious? Now she keeps showing that big ass forehead that she got. It's for me, baby. You can't joke by nothing. Sure can't. Putting shit on the internet like that. You can't joke. Right now, people can't do it while I'm not in bitch. You a dead ass serious. There's never been. You a bitch. Man, if I was that nigga, bro, I'd break up with your ass in a heartbeat. I'm um, broke. Ooh. Kids again, kids again, stand up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dang. Let's double her name. Come on, agent. Y'all know what we do after every video. Saying I knew. Yo, check it out, fool. Like, comment, subscribe, and say y'all peace in the comments below. You know what I'm saying? Oh, CJ so cool shit. Tired of seeing that. Motherfucking Karina Flow. I'm tired of seeing that. Motherfucking all this YouTube beef and shit. Tired of seeing because it's all 23rd. Damn, 2023 moving into 2024. New year supposed to mean leave all that negative shit in the fucking past. Why is that still bringing it to the motherfucking future? Why they be stressing so fucking much? Because they keep entertaining beef. You supposed to get steak. You want to entertain the beef. Like.
Oh yeah, and this beef between Lotto and Ice Spice, bro. That shit is unnecessary and petty, like it, like you said right there. It's like beefing over what? Y'all both two good ass rappers, you know what I'm saying? Both doing y'all shit, and I think both of y'all from New York, you know what I'm saying? So why is y'all down each other? You know what I'm mean? saying? But yes, motherfucking Lotto is better. A better rapper than I Spice. There's no if ands or buts, no comparison, no none of that. Ice, you still a good ass rapper, but there's no way you compare it to Lotto's level. Yo, Cyphers, not up there like hers. Yo, music is not even on the same level. There's no comparison. Ice, you rap about, you know what I'm saying? Shaking ass and motherfucking singing the little girls and shit. Lotto, she she talk about money, niggas, gun, all of that. Whatever. She talk about it all. <sighs> yeah, man, you know what I mean? Like I said, bro. It is unnecessary. Pretty females beefing. That ain't the that ain't the we that ain't even how it's supposed to go. Pretty females ain't supposed to be for other pretty females. They supposed to uplift each other. Oh.